Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the latest stage to be added to the Prevent the World Domination event in DB Legends. And basically this video or this event kind of comes down to essentially do you have the units or don't you have the units. Now obviously if you do have the units you get the benefit of taking on the stage. And not only do you get the benefits of taking on the stage, but you also have the really ch cool chance to acquire more power for those units. And some of these units are Legends Limited characters. So it's a pretty good you know, kind of situation to be in, whereby you basically gain the ability to earn yourself some more multi-Z power for those units. Now the... Yeah, stage itself is not traditionally hard. You don't have any access requirements beyond needing the unit, and the unit themselves can complete the stage relatively easily. The team I'm using to boost this unit is comprised entirely out of event exclusive units, and a big component of beating this event is basically just using your racing rush. So it's yeah, quite straightforward really not something that should be complicated or something that players should realistically struggle with. Uh, a lot of you shouldn't really have overtly any crazy problems with the stage. But yeah, of course, it can be a little bit frustrating uh, if you are someone who doesn't have the unit because then you feel like you're being you know, kind of held back from rewards. It is one of those things though. It's, you know, they're rewarding you for pulling the unit. It sounds very weird because obviously it's kind of conducive or non-conducive to you know like the actual functioning of the game for people but yeah in general the thing that they're doing here is they're actually rewarding you for pulling a single copy of the unit which is fine i you know for me anytime a player can get more items within the game without like doing specific things i think is good Obviously, being able to pull the unit is kind of like is kind of yeah frustrating because a lot of people would obviously prefer to have the event just give them Z power and then they can get the unit. And I do agree with that to some extent. Like it would be way cooler if they made the event way harder. But if you beat the event, you got like a hundred Z power for the unit. Like just able to get a single one star copy of the unit now obviously that would be cool because people would have the unit but it would also not be cool because 100 z power kind of does nothing whereas with this uh they've kind of done the inverse whereby they're going to give you like a decent chunk of z power it is just also that yeah although you may get the z power you can only get it when you have the character and they even mention this in their videos where they speak about these events and they go Listen, we understand, uh, but if you do this event before, or you max out the character before you do this event, there's also no benefit for you. So it's a little bit of like a catch-22 kind of situation, where players are now in this kind of zone where it's like, okay, yeah, I need to actually finish this event to be able to get the character, or I need to do this event to be able to kind of get my rewards. But at the exact same time, I'm kind of sitting in the position whereby, you know, if I summon too much and I get the unit all maxed out, then I won't get any rewards. So it's a very kind of up and down event. Basically, if you're in the middle as a player like myself, you're someone who sometimes gets the new units and you know, leaves them on three stars, then obviously it's great. Um, and it's a cool event that's going to be nice for you. Uh, because you're going to be able to supplement your unit's Z power. However, if you are someone who does not play often or prefers spending, uh, or you're someone who just never gets the units, you will feel like you're being locked out of the content. Which is a shame, but is also just kind of one of those things. It's kind of a double-edged sword. Either they give us events where they do this, where they give us Z power for summonable units, or they do events where they don't and then we just end up with chrono crystals which is also fine uh, i mean at the end of the day for me as long as there's content and rewards i think it's fine the only thing that's a shame here is that it does lock players out of the content i would say 
you know, you can still let players rather maybe get a capsule or a multi Z power tool for the Z power so they can still do the stage and rather make like a secondary requirement character uh, so that they can still do the stage and still get benefits because yeah when you can't do the content like now it's quite boring for a lot of players you know if they don't have these four stages or eight stages to do uh, it's a little bit of content you're missing out on and you just don't have maybe as much appeal or as much interest in playing some of the PvE content in the game. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's a super duper simple stage. I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, obviously so that you could get a pretty good idea uh, of the stage. And obviously just have a pretty good time. But yeah, that's going to be it from me. Uh, I'll cover the rest of the stages uh, that have been added in uh, to the similar event. Which is the Heroes of Justice Have Arrived event. Which I have also covered on this channel. And yeah. That's basically going to be it. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, of course, uh, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, I wish you guys best of luck, and bye.